Hey, David here again. Um, I want to go through um, how to do a swing with you today. Uh, a swing is a great exercise. A lot of people really don't know what a swing is. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what a swing is. Uh, a swing basically is an exercise um, which, once again, really helps you to express power in your hips. In any level of sport or any sport that we do do, your hip power basically dominates most of the things that we do in regards to um, acceleration, deceleration, uh, propelling your punches, propelling your kicks. Uh, when it comes to football, baseball, basketball, golf even, your hips are where you generate most of your, your power for jumping, for swinging, for turning with a punch, for turning with knees and kicks. So I want to show you an exercise that will help you to maximize your power in the hips today, okay? This is called a swing. So the precursor to the swing is in the last uh, little section that I did is called the squat. So we, we, we show the squat first in this motion. Now, the sw in the swing, you need to generate a lot of power. So in doing that, you really have to pop your hips. As you do these exercises, you gotta come down really nice and deep, head up, back straight, and you gotta pop your hips. I'm gonna show you a quick slide pro profile, I'm sorry. And we pop. Pop it, and we pop it. Okay? In doing the swing, you have to think about jumping without jumping. So if I was to do a jump, I'm gonna jump. Now, if you watch what my hips are doing, when I jump, my hips really pop forward. So what I need to do is express that while doing my exercise. So, while doing my swing, I'll give you a side profile. I need to keep a really flat back and I need to pop my hips like I want to jump with the weight. So if I was to do it with a jump, that's what it would look like. But what I want to do is I don't want to jump and I want to get the full expression of the power in my hips. I want to inhale as I come down. And I want to exhale as I drive. I'm gonna try this also with the heavier one. Once again, selecting a weight for swings. This way for swings won't do it for you because your hips are very powerful. After like your first set, you will notice that you'll need to graduate to a higher um, weight, okay? So I'm doing it with a higher weight as well. I still want to express the same power through the hips, through the legs, and the lower back. This exercise does use a little bit of momentum. But momentum is necessary when doing the exercise. So key points, quickly. Flat back, chin up. Chest out, back, pull back. As you're doing your exercise, you basically want to just pop it. And you really want to pop the hips and you want to pretend like you're jumping, but you don't jump when you're doing the exercise. So once again, okay, so that's the swing.